Hello and welcome to this video. This is Hilton Giesenow, I'm a Microsoft SharePoint MVP and host of The Moss Show SharePoint Podcast. And in this video I'll show you how to create a very lightweight project tracking list that's more graphical than the standard out-of-box custom list types that we would work with. So let's see the details of the list itself and then we'll see how we can go ahead and wire it up. It's a standard custom SharePoint list, other than I've changed the title to, to say project name rather than title, for example. And I've added a few appropriate columns that I'd like to add uh, for project tracking. So I've added a project manager, for example, and a project phase like initiation or development or in progress, anything like that. Then I've added two uh, particular columns that I want to change the rendering of, make them a little bit fancier. The first is a project status, and this is just a uh, choice column that I've defined with three uh, available choices here, in progress, blocked, and overdue. So based on any of these, I'd like to show a red, amber, green, or rag indicator. In this case, it's red, yellow, green, but essentially exactly the same idea. And then I've added the standard out-of-box percent complete column, and uh, that is part of the uh, SharePoint team site uh, capability here as well. So we can go ahead and use those two columns and represent them a little bit differently. Now, the way that we're going to get this fancy tracking list is with a little bit of script that we need to go ahead and add. So I've made the script available. You need to go ahead and put it somewhere into your site. I've put it into the site assets library because I know that's available in my team site. I've created a script uh, subfolder and I've simply put the JavaScript file inside of there. The script file is available on my podcast site. So you can go to www.themossshow.com forward slash sessions forward slash project tracker.js and you can go ahead and simply download the JavaScript file. I'm going to go ahead and open it up in Visual Studio just so that you can see what it looks like if you'd want to go ahead and modify it as necessary or pass it on to your developers to assist you with some of the basic settings. Essentially all we're doing is overriding the rendering of the project status and percent complete fields. So the percent complete field will call a uh, something called a function down at the bottom here which will simply go ahead and render that um, that nice little progress bar graphic at the bottom. And for the project status um, override here, what I do is go ahead and check the values. So I've said that overdue, for example, should render as red, blocked should render as yellow, and everything else should render as green. We only have one other status now, but if I was to add a few other valid statuses, these would all render as green as well. You could also add in a gray rendering, for example, if it was a pause status, anything like that, um, of course, is perfectly fine. So you can download the script and use it um, as you'd like to. It's, uh, it's totally available for you to use. What I've done, as I said, is to put it into the site assets library into a script subfolder. I do need to go ahead and copy the full path to that. So I'm going to right click and choose the copy shortcut option. And then what I need to do to go ahead and change the rendering of the a dashboard as it appears here of the view of the items is to of course make sure that the appropriate columns are configured then what I do is go edit page and I'll go ahead and modify the out-of-box web part here so of course I select the edit web part option I'll go down to the settings of the uh, the web part in particular and go down to the miscellaneous section and then right down at the bottom we have something called the JS link property where I'll go ahead and set the reference to the JavaScript file. Now you can place the URL for the file directly in there but I've taken one extra small step and instead of putting the full URL in I use a token based URL. So instead of having the full site collection and then site um, URL posted inside of there um, I'm going to go ahead and use a token, which is a tilde value, and then the word site, which the SharePoint framework will resolve into the current site that I'm working in. I could also go ahead and use the site collection token if I want to store this somewhere in the site collection route as well. But that's all I need to do. I set that site token and then pass in the rest of the path to the actual uh, JavaScript file as I want to go ahead and reference it. Once I've done that, I can go ahead and apply, for example, and go ahead and save the uh, the actual changes to the page. So let's do that. It might look a little bit unusual uh, when we're in the edit mode. So you'll see object object, for example, rather than the, the title and project manager and so on being represented. But once you've done that, everything should work um, hopefully correctly as you're seeing on the screen here. Now, it's important to note that 
where everything we're doing is self-contained within the site itself. So even though we've done a little bit of customization with JavaScript, for example, nothing touches the server or needs to be deployed across the, the SharePoint farm or anything like that. So this is something that will work for an on-premises SharePoint deployment, but will also work, as you can see, in a SharePoint Online Office 365 deployment as well. So I've gone and deployed it into our Experts Inside company SharePoint portal into a particular subsite inside of a site collection and everything works absolutely fine. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed learning how to create a simple, lightweight, but more graphical project tracking list.